Hey everyone, Trucker John here. I am here in Baker, California, Gateway to Death Valley. This is home to the world's largest thermometer, which is telling me is about 57 degrees right now. Baker is about halfway between Barstow, California, and Las Vegas, Nevada, here in the Mojave Desert, in the middle of nowhere. It's been raining, so the smell of the desert and the smell of the rain, it's, it's an amazing smell. If you know what I'm talking about, it's a great smell. Anyways, I'm here uh, for my 30 minute break and I'm gonna take this opportunity during my 30 minute break to prepare a meal. So check this out. Since we're in the Mojave Desert, I thought it'd be fitting to make some Mojave whiskey pork shoulder roast tacos. I picked up this roast at a grocery outlet for six thirty-five dollars for just under three pounds. And uh, again, this is a, going to be a cheap meal that will last me several days and will keep me out of the fast food and the truck stop food scene. So the great thing about this pre-seasoned meat, which is, uh, got, is dry rub with black pepper, onion, and garlic, it's pretty simple. You just gotta throw it in the crock pot with some water and let it cook for about four hours. So that's what we're gonna do. And then after that, we're gonna add some cheese to our tortillas and some tapatio for some uh, spiciness. It'd be really good if I had some pico de gallo, but uh, yeah, can't make that on the truck. I mean, you can, but I just don't have the ingredients for it. Uh, you could also get it with rice. I have these little um, microwavable rice bowls, like 90 seconds in the microwave, and they work great. So I'm gonna do tacos first, and with some of the leftovers, I'll probably eat them with some rice. So we'll check that out and put it in the crock pot. All right, then the instructions say it should sit in about one inch of water. So what I decided to do was cook inside the truck uh, obviously because crock pots take a long time to cook. It's not like a grill outside where it's a few minutes. So um, I put it up in the front seat on this rubber uh, this rubber floor mat just to keep the truck floor protected. And I also kind of rigged this little thing to where I can have this bungee cord. I, I connected it to uh, one of my weights that I use. And then I just put the bungee cord around the lid and connect it under the seat down here. Uh, that way when I'm driving down the road, it doesn't rattle or it doesn't pop off and then everything, you know, fly out. That'd be, that'd be terrible. So basically it looks like that. I just have it connected there and run it over and through the lid and then connect it to the weight. Uh, the only concern I have, this is my first time trying this, so my concern is uh, the nylon of the bungee might get hot and it might melt from the crock pot when it gets hot. Um, so we'll have to play this one by ear to see if this is a good idea or not. Now they do make crock pots that have like locking lids. I may have to invest into one of those if this does not work out. So another reason why I did it here in the front seat is so I can kind of crack the window while I'm driving to let it, you know, vent out that way. Uh, but the weather has not been that great, so I don't want my truck to get too wet. So if I do have to keep the window closed, what I have done is I've closed my bedroom curtains that go to my bunk. So hopefully that will kind of keep the smell out, um, at least out of like my blankets and stuff and out of my clothes. It'll just keep the smell here in the front. So at least I can air out the front of the cab, you know, on the freeway or something before I open up the curtains when I stop. In theory, I think it will work. So we're gonna test it out and see what happens. All right, so I have the crock pot set to low. I'm gonna put the timer on my phone for four hours and I'm gonna continue driving. So that took less than 30 minutes to prepare. That's including all the prep, bringing the equipment out from under the bunk, sending uh, the little sparrow out to get some aerial shots. All of that, you know, I still have, you know, a good, you know, almost 10 minutes left to kinda eat a lunch or something before I head on down the road. So, so another thing I just want you guys to take away from the video is not, not just what I'm doing here on the truck cooking and how you guys can do it, but just to show you that it is possible. You know, you don't have to eat out all the time. You can eat healthy on a truck. 
or if you're an RVer, um, you know, there's definitely cheaper ways to eat too. This meal is going to last me several days and it costs me less than $15 total. You know, if you count the cheese and the tortillas and the hot sauce, which will last forever, you know, for less than $15, I can eat probably four days off of this. Um, whereas if you were to eat out in four days, you're definitely going to spend more than 15 bucks. So, um, yeah, I will get on down the road here and then we will see how it looks more when it's done. All right, so it's been exactly four hours. So I'm just gonna turn this down to warm. I'm warm. My bungee cord, looks like it held up okay. It didn't get burned or singed or anything, so that's good news. All right, let's take a look at this. It's been cooking for four hours uninterrupted. I have to tell you, it's been teasing me for a while. It smells so good. Get the other side nice and juicy. Actually, you know what? Nothing that might be done. I think we're good. So I think I'm just gonna keep it on warm and continue driving, and then when I stop for the night, we'll uh, make some tacos. A little, little taste test. It's been teasing me this whole time with the smell. It smells amazing. I have to try it. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the finished product here. Separate. We want to. All right, so we're going to try and shred this meat up here so we can make some tacos. Um, it's going to add two forks, be easier to, to shred it. I'm also trying not to splatter on my bed or make a mess. I think that's good. We'll just let that meat get nice and soaked and then we will transfer it to uh, another container and start making some tacos. I'll try and shred a little bit more. All right, I'm just gonna take a damp paper towel. We're gonna wrap these tortillas and put them in the microwave for about a minute. pieces of meat right on top. Some of the bigger ones I'll save for uh, when I'm eating it with rice. A little bit of cheese. Splash of tapatio. Alright, so here we are with our, uh, our Mojave whiskey pork tacos. Let's try this out here. It's about four or five hours of uh, slow cooking. Let's see how we did. Mm, yeah. and the cheese melts, it's even better. It's really tender, strong flavor. This is definitely a thumbs up. I'm definitely going to do this one again. So I warmed four tortillas. I need to want, <clears throat> I might need to warm some more after this. <laughs> it's really good actually. A lot of meat though. <clears throat> so 
So once it cools down a little bit more, I'll cover it up and put it in the fridge. And that'll last me a good four more days with the tortillas and the rice. Heck, I can even make a sandwich out of it. So, sorry, it's really good. The meat, the cheese, everything is just is perfect. You know, for something I just made in the truck, very simple. You saw it was less than 30 minutes pr to prepare it. I it cooked while I, while I drove. It didn't really stink up the truck too much, at least not that I can notice. Uh, and it, it turned out to be a great meal. So again, something easy to do on the truck, anybody can do it, or if you're in an RV, even at home, this is really a simple dish, easy to make, very delicious, and it lasts for several days, especially if it's just you by yourself. So uh, <clears throat> if you guys know of any other crock pot recipes, or if you know of any other channels that are showcasing how to cook on a truck or in the RV lifestyle, you know, shoot those comments down below and uh, I'll go check it out. And until next time, make sure you uh, make some yummy food on your truck and uh, I'll see you down the road.